Hello again. I was intending to make this another improvisational video, but uh, the microphone on my camera is quite atrocious, so I'll make this a quick uh, voiceover video instead. Today I'll be making a traditional Swedish Christmas recipe for saffron buns, also known as lussebullar. And uh, the challenge here is uh, that I need to make it both low FODMAP and also vegan since uh, my sister, who is vegan, is visiting for Christmas. And this means I can't use either eggs, butter, milk or wheat. I'm also going to make this with uh, fresh yeast. And I'm not sure how common that is outside of the Nordic countries, but uh, I can't imagine dry yeast would be too different. So, first off I'll crumble the yeast into the bowl. For fresh yeast, you'll need your water to be around 37 degrees Celsius for the dough to rise. I'm going to add half a liter of water and uh, 50 grams of yeast. Next we'll add some sugar. I found that the yeast consumes more sugar when using non-wheat flour, so I'm going to add more than the normal recipe calls for. Here I added a little under 3 deciliters but uh, I suggest sticking between two and two and a half because the buns did turn out a little bit too sweet for my taste at least. And uh, don't forget to add a little bit of salt. Now, the normal recipe doesn't call for vanilla but I like vanilla so I'll add some anyways for good measure. Next up the saffron. Yeah, I know it's expensive but luckily the recipe only calls for one gram of it. I'm going to start adding some flour now, until the mix gets an oatmeal-like consistency. Add uh, 200 grams of uh, milk-free butter. And this may sound a little bit excessive, but keep in mind the original recipe calls for milk, and uh, this will make up for some of that. The flour I'm using is made up in large part of psyllium seed husks and it will keep absorbing liquid for much longer than regular wheat flour will. And that's why it's important to stop adding flour once the dough starts to unstick from the bottom of your bowl. It is easy to add uh, too much flour here and uh, end up with a solid chunk after letting it rise. Time to let the dough rise for 30 minutes. It didn't rise as much as I had hoped, but that's okay because it is going to rise more after we bake it out, as well as in the oven. Now the traditional way of doing this is to roll the dough and make an S-shape. The traditional recipe also calls for raisins, and these are fine on the FODMAP diet in low quantities, but some people don't like raisins, so I just left them out this time. Time to let the dough rise for another 30 minutes. Normally, these would be brushed with egg, but since I can't use eggs this time, I'll use syrup mixed with a little bit of water. Finally, it's time to put them in the oven at 225 Celsius for around 10 minutes. All done. That's it for now. Happy holidays from Jazz Doge.